Hey, 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 welcome back to It's a Flawsome Life, the mindset and business strategy vlog from myself, Julie Agnew. And this is episode two. I'm excited to be able to share some more of my thoughts and tips and strategies with you. And this week for me, it's got to be around taking inspired action. So I'm just going to jump right in to the training because I want these trainings to be really short snippets that you can take and listen to or watch. If you're watching me, that's totally fine. Plug me in in the car, whichever way you want to do it. But I want them to be things that you can listen to and that they're quick and you can take action off the back of them quickly because that's what I really want to be able to do is help you to move from feeling stuck and getting out of your own head to actually getting your bum in gear and actually taking the steps forward to move you forward in life and business. So this week, I wanted to talk to you about taking inspired action. And I thought I would start by just maybe sharing what inspired action is, because maybe you are listening or watching this and thinking, what the heck is inspired action? Now, inspired action is basically when you are pulled to do something because you've felt a super strong urge to do it. It's like it's a feeling that's kind of in your heart and in your gut and you are pulled towards doing it. And I think more more so than not sort of these days i don't know if you've heard of the law of attraction where thoughts become things and quite a lot of us can kind of be pulled into that and just think well if i think positive things and i'm a positive person and i just keep doing this things are actually going to come and just land in my lap and unfortunately <laughs> that isn't the case and whilst that's a little portion of it we obviously want to create our physical reality based on the thoughts that we're having so based on having better thoughts more positive thoughts because our beliefs and our thoughts actually do create our physical reality so we want to get that bit nailed but we do have to take an element of action as well bash has decided to make an appearance I'm not even going to crop that out. Um, we do have to take an element of action as well, okay? And when we actually take inspired action, it's not a tiny bit of action that we're taking. It's not a teeny tiny bit. We're actually taking a quantum leap forward when it comes to action in our business and in our lives. And so taking inspired action is basically taking action based around it feeling exciting for you, based around it's something that comes from your heart, like you really feel, feel pulled to do it. It's something that you know absolutely lights you up. It's things that you know if you actually do it, you're going to grow from it, but it feels fun. You know, the more that we can make business fun and exciting, and coming from a place of love, the more we're going to want to carry on doing it. That's the chances. You know, the chances are we're going to want to carry on doing it. So it's things that that feel, it's doing things that feel expansive, knowing that it's going to help us to grow. And actually, sometimes it might make us feel scared. Like it might actually feel like the scariest thing that we could ever do. But actually, deep down inside, we know that if we do it, we're going to grow from it. It's going to help us to like take huge leaps forward rather than us just taking a tiny step forward or not even moving at all. It's when you've got the butterflies in your tummy. It's that voice in your head saying, you should do this, you should do this. And you perhaps keep squashing it down and thinking, if I ignore it, it's going to go away. But for me, I find during the times that I come from an inspired action place and I take inspired action, so leaning into the things that feel fun, that feel expansive, that light me up, that come from my heart, that give me butterflies in my tummy, actually that scare me, those are the times that when I actually follow that, those are the times when I grow the most. And I just wanted to share this with you because if you can start leaning more into those things, and taking inspired action and you can have your mindset in a place where you are thinking better thoughts you are no longer staying in um a negative holiday so you're not unpacking your bags there so if you can t you can tie your thoughts into the action that you are taking as well you are going to experience growth you are going to move from feeling stuck towards seeing success a lot more quickly so that is it i am going to love you and leave you i hope that you've taken some value from this i would love you to go ahead and comment below what you could do today 
that would mean that you that you move forward by taking inspired action. I would love for you to share that with me or if you've been doing this and you've been taking inspired action, please feel free to share that with me as well. I love it when you reach out and share your journeys with me. And also just finally, before I go, I drop some free resources in the comments below as well that you can go ahead and grab with my absolute pleasure. I hope you've taken value from this. Like I said, I'm going to love you and leave you. Have the most amazing day, whatever you are doing, and I will see you back here same time next week. Bye.